Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Manga Chapters review. I am the Rat, and this is The Rat's Nest. I'm joined as always by Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. Hi everyone. One Piece, chapters 1088 and 1089. Been a while. These were some pretty good chapters. Yeah, I, I, I like these chapters. Um, that's basically, as I said, off recording. Like we, we are in Egghead Island for the long haul. Yes, I, I think, I think we're in Egghead until the arc ends. Now, I, I think we, we spent our time that's away. That's so true. Right? <laughs> no, you know what I mean. You, you understand me? When I you read get an arc it, and it ends. Oh man, I read that arc till it ended. Oh wow, that's crazy, Dude, guys. When Wano ended, we left. That's insane. <laughs> did we though? <laughs> we did leave Wano, and then Black Clover went there. It was empty. It was empty, so it had to have something to fill the spot. Anyways, before there was Egghead, there was Garp Staff. Shall we talk about 1088? Let's. So, basically, we're just getting some flashbacks here at the beginning of the chapter. There you got the the island island fruit coming through. And Garp's like, you guys are idiots. Uh, uh, my my friends will, uh, my Navy guys will save, will uh, will will beat you up. Uh, and he tells Kobe, you got to destroy the hand of that island monster. Grus, protect the ship from falling rubble. Rubble. Helmepo, make sure the two aren't interfered with. Simple enough instructions, you know. While Garp has uh, is being beaten up by Aokiji, they're going through. They're they're doing their job. Hamepo is making sure that they're not being interrupted with. And then Garp versus uh, Kuzan. And Kuzan's like, where are you going, Garp, with those wounds? And Garp is like, you mean scratches? And Garp goes, your soft launches at him. Launches kind of past him towards the island head. <laughs> and he's like, Why is Garp coming this way? Wait, don't you care about your ship? Hits him with Galaxy Divide, which is an attack name, I guess. Uh, and like cracks the island, right? Base. That's cool. Like that's kind of an insane hockey feat, right? And there. then also we see that like unlike Pika Street or whatever, when you damage the island heart, like we see this Pizarro guy like fall back with a broken face. Yeah. So Bleeding. any damage done to the island is done to him as well. Yeah. And so I wonder if there's going to be any more damage done to the island later in the chapter. <laughs> but we get Kobe, right? He's like, I live up to expectations. He's coming through. There's a little backstory here. We get to see some of Kobe and Garp's training. And we see that Kobe uh, punches the, the battleship bags, right? Uh, even after all the training. So it shows his, his dedication to it. And then we see uh, Kobe's little girlfriend be like, you, you can't, Kobe. It's too dangerous because she's Southern. So she talks like that. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I was like, uh, the island guy is like, just watch as your ship is sunk you and your fellow sailors scream and die. If you try to flee over open water, Aokiji will free you. Garp's like, you boys can save them. The uh, the hot uh, vice admiral chick is like, abandon ship into the water. And Kobe goes, uh, he's like, raw. And then he's like, destroy it or they'll all die. People will die because of me. Bro hits him with honesty impact, which is the lamest name for an yeah, insane attack. It's pretty like for an attack that like splits this dude arm right down the middle. Like galaxy impact. This could have been maybe maybe not galaxy. Could have been like planet impact or something. You know, to a lesser scale, to show, you know, similarities. Yet he's still following in Garp's footsteps. But yeah, well, honestly, even then, I think this might be a stronger attack than Galaxy Divide. Well, it was the, it's, it's then like call it something better. Yeah, I remember when spoilers dropped and it was like Kobe uses a strong attack called Honesty Impact. Everyone was clowning on him, bro. It's whatever. Like it's, it's part of his character. Yeah, but, yeah, cool. He's honest. Uh, it's a it's a badass thing. Kobe's Kobe's uh, hockey is really strong. I think cool. Everyone's like, what? Uh, I forgot. Uh, Warp web is what it was called. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Glorp web. Bro, bro, really hit us with the Glorp web and honesty impact in one chapter. Like right. we wouldn't. Like we wouldn't notice. What dish was Oda cooking with this? He cooked it's, pretty well. It, it's cool though. It is cool. Odd, I, I don't, honesty impact, whatever. Glorp web is funny. It's still cool. It's still cool stuff. Hmm. And we see Garp laughing, and after the honesty impact, Kobe's little girlfriend is just, just 
enamored by his Riz. And Muff was like, wow, Kobe, you really did it. And so then here comes Kobe back. They get him on there. And Garp says, this is Garp. The mission to rescue Captain Kobe is complete. Get away from the island full speed. Your safety is a top priority here. All of you are the future of the Navy. That, that little speech there. So he so says, get away from the island full speed. I'll manage on my own. Your safety is the top priority here. Isn't that right? One day what happened here will be a major threat to all pirates. Keep moving onward. All of you are the future of the Navy. He clicks, and then he's laughing as he's being frozen. Garp is dead. Garp is objectively dead, bro. He'll be fine. It's nothing. Look, look. No, 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 no. No, 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 Kyle. So last chapter, right, 1087, Garp was like serious at the end of the chapter, right? Yeah. People weren't worried about him. Now he's laughing. Kyle, do you know why that's bad? Because usually the, in every death flashback of One Piece, a person laughs before they die. Because he is Monkey D. Garp. All members of the D Clan die laughing. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> row raggy. Ruh row raggy. But then the end of the chapter goes. The next day's headlines spoke of the safe return of the Navy's young hero, Captain Kobe, and the disappearance on Pirate Island of the legendary hero, Vice Admiral Garp, and the incident in which Straw Hat Luffy, Emperor of the Sea, barricaded himself within future egghead future island egghead to be continued right now and let's continue yeah let's continue so overall 1088 what are you what are you feeling good chapter uh i i think it was a strong ending to the sequence of rescuing kobe uh it's it like the beats of it were pretty simple of like they got in they got him kobe is like er, okay honesty impact and like they got away a pretty like a standard sacrifice almost of like trading like garp trading himself for the the new generation you know that's that whole like one of the big things we've been seeing like with you know shanks what like long ago being like are you that scared of the new generation it's protecting the new generation um sorry there's like a lot of my thoughts on like just spiraling but yeah it was it was a good rescue mission section with yeah, Kobe. i mean it's a fun however, little chapter you know it's one piece uh it was a good little chapter however Brandon, the uh -huh. side characters have finally shut the fuck up. Dude, they have. Damn, for a show called One Piece, they sure haven't found the thing. <laughs> People honestly use that as an objective criticism, which is dumb. But anyway. That's crazy. That's crazy. Chapter 1089, Hostage Situation. We're back in East Blue. And the, the cover story, a cow giving Nami a cup of hot milk as she draws sea charts at night. Oh yeah, that's what that funny. kind of stuff. I like the I like the sign because the cat says the stars are pretty, just like you. Shall we stargaze? And she just writes a letter that says, or no, that says thanks. Saw them already. <laughs> oh, I just realized it was from it's, Sanji. It's from Sanji. It's from Sanji. I just realized. Based. based. Yeah, based. Maybe that maybe that Sanji's devil fruit. Maybe he's a Zoan user now. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> starting Anyways. off the chapter. We're in Windmill I I Village. We get to see them reacting to Garp. Uh, he's, oh, he's not dead. And um, what is the... Do you know? Do you remember the village mayor's name? No, I don't remember any of these people's names. I feel like the one who I feel like I might remember is the, the orange-haired one that took Whoop care of... Whoop Slap. Them. That's his name. His name is Whoop Slap. There's no fucking way. His no, it is. is. It is Whoop Slap. That's why I was asking. I was like, I, was like, I know this. I know it's ridiculous. His name is Whoop Slap. W I don't remember any of their names, and I feel bad. Whoop Slap. Like, to be fair, right? One Piece with so many characters, you are bound to forget characters. Yeah. Like, like I know I'm. Uh, you know me, right? Big forget character name until I get it, like until I know them a lot more kind of guy. Um, with something like One Piece, it's really difficult because I've I'll see characters. I'm like, oh shit, I know this person. Yeah, because you got like the you? whole the whole range. You got Kaido, King of Beasts, and then you got Whoop Slap. It's amazing how Oda can go from someone like Figurling Garling with like one of the iciest motherfuckers he's ever come up with to fucking that one treasure box guy that Buggy uh, met Gaimon? in the early days. Gaimon. One of the OG Straw Hats, dude. How could you forget him? He's like Figurling Garling. Those, the one who can, you know, bequest the death of even a celestial dragon to Gaimon. Dude. 
Anyway. Anyways. And then we get to see Makino with her and uh, Shanks' kid uh, because uh, her and Shanks um, uh, obviously uh, were having intercourse until the room stank. Um, and apparently the child uh, has learned to recognize Luffy. It's like, you love Big Brother Luffy, don't you? So that's kind of based. We also see Dadon here. So this is an interesting panel I've seen analyzed a little bit. Garp, Luffy, what do you think you're doing? Uh, so this is all... So, so, so here, right? Because the rest of the chapter is kind of about Lucia and, and and getting back to Egghead. So this is the thing where we know that these are people reacting to what is about to happen. So the question is, what is about to happen? What do you think? So, so, all right, well, okay, okay. Sorry, like, what phrase confused me? Because this, this, this is immediately following like the news headline, right? Yes. It's so, like, like line. this part here is the the egghead incident has already happened, and the papers are reporting on the egghead incident okay, and the okay, fact okay. that Garp is I... missing on Pirate Island. Oh no, no, you're right. I'm sorry. I I completely like just. No, you're all good. I, you're all I good. for like I immediately just didn't realize that like yeah no the article is just reporting like the one from eighty eight was just reporting on what happened that we're going to see throughout the remainder of this arc. Yes. Um, we have not seen the egghead incident yet, but these people have. I mean, these people I know really, what happened. I think it's Luffy beats, uh, like I, I think he beats one of the five elders. Like I think it's like five elder defeated by Luffy. It's either Kizaru or Saturn. It's got or both. Imagine maybe both, bro. Uh, imagine a, all right. Imagine a picture like this: Luffy yeah. and Zoro yeah. standing like after having defeated both of them, like walking away to their crew. Which just I mean, it's not going to happen, but like. Them defeated. I meanwhile, think it could meanwhile, happen. Sanji is this like, oh, Nami Swan. Sanji fans power of shambles. Power of love. Nami Swan. Uh oh. Uh, Wallahi, save me genetics. Wallahi, I'm finished. <laughs> save, <laughs> save me genetics. Save me rain suit. <laughs> Wallahi. <laughs> oh, man. And then, after, the after the this, only good wars sorry. in the One Piece community are there. This is the Zoro versus Sanji wars. They're because they're really funny because Zoro is objectively stronger, and I don't understand why Sanji fans try to pretend like he had a higher bounty because he was a bin smoke. Yeah, and then and then Zolo was like, no freaking way. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, so earthquakes start happening. East yes. blue, south blue, west blue, north blue. Every blue is getting an earthquake, and it's happening because Grand line too. So we see. Oh, there's Momonosuke. I, I completely, dude, I'm a One Piece fan. I didn't read the chapter, right? There's Momonosuke. Uh, Is but we that Kukoshi Kukushibo? No, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Laboon there. So, uh, you know, earthquakes happening everywhere. Uh, they can't tell where it is. They're historical scale. Um, but the quake happened just six days after the vanishing of the kingdom of Lulucia. Uh, and we see Emu there, right? Uh, and we mm -hmm. also see... Uh, where Lulucia was is a giant pit not with anymore water racing in no it says it says there is no sign of the hole filling up oh wait no I'm dumb I, I'm... <laughs> we can't see it <laughs> where is it <laughs> reading comprehension devil it, it hits you no matter the series it hits you no matter the series Kyle it's the midnight devil do you get to put on the fake fan pants no, I don't want the... No. I'm I a real fan. Ask me, ask me any One Piece question. I can answer it to an absolute certainty. Um, What is Imu-sama's true identity? So anyway, after that, we cut to the kingdom <laughs> where Ivan Kov and the others are, and we see all their reactions. We're getting everyone's reactions to you know, all the earthquakes, and then, then we come back to Aikhead. Uh Yeah, a shark swam into someone's house. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was funny. Based... Just uh, and then, yeah, so we see, meanwhile, on Future Island Egghead in the New World, a naval summons brought a nation-sized fleet that far outclassed even a buster call. The island was completely surrounded by a group of 100 ships, including 20 massive battleships. The crew totaled 30,000 sailors. Whoa. And then Leading we see... this unprecedented military force was a group of nine vice admirals and... Admiral Kizaru. No freaking way. This is kind of insane. This is 
one of the setups of all time here. So there's there's kind of two camps uh, from what I've seen in the community as to what the news is. Uh, there's one camp um, that says that the news is that Luffy got captured by the world government. And then there's another camp that's correct. Uh, the one that says Luffy beat Kizaru or Saturn, right? If Saturn shows up, he's Saturn. He's, he's mm -hmm. just chilling, right? Yeah. No, he's just, I don't know, he's on a battleship. Yeah, I think he's there. Because think because the news was shocking the news shocked the world what's shocking a fleet of thirty thousand navy sailors trapped and barricaded an emperor on an island and beat up a pirate right and his crew of 10 people right yeah or that an emperor and his crew of 10 people beat an admiral and maybe even a five elder yeah there's I also the fact that makino and whoop slap back in windmill town weren't sad like if Luffy had been captured or beaten, they would have been disappointed. Yeah, but, but they were like... they were happy. Daydon was kind of like kind of uh, a little bit like Luffy Garp. What are you doing? Well, but sad about could... Garp mostly. Yeah, sad about Garp, and then it also could be like, oh well, you know, uh, Luffy just uh, curb stomped Kizaru. Like, yeah, like what are is... you doing? Like, bro's yeah, gonna like, be a target. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, That's chill, fair. dude, chill. Also, I heard someone say there's a lot of people eating stuff this chapter. I just noticed it with uh, uh, Saturn and uh, Kizaru. Is there anyone else that's eaten anything in this chapter? Um, well, you have Sentamaru is eating stuff, looks like. No. <laughs> yeah, literally everyone's And you have a uh, doll and the Vice Admiral panel is eating a cigarette. <laughs> sure, if you want to call that call <laughs> cigarette eating. Dude. I eat so many cigarettes, dude. You would not believe I would that. hope not. <laughs> so here we get uh, uh, Kizaru kind of talking to So tomorrow a little bit. We learn that Kizaru at some point worked with uh, Vegapunk and Sintamaru. Uh, you can see that little flashback panel there at the bottom. Where he shoots um, his light beam up. So they know each other somehow. Kizaru's base. I am, if it is Luffy versus Kizaru, I can't wait. Because I really like Kizaru, I'm really looking forward to to the fight. Mm -hmm. Whatever the fight is, even if it's even if it's Saturn here, right? Um, he's like, oh yeah, it seems like Rob Gucci and the cohorts failed to complete their mission because of the Straw Hats. Uh, Saturn is like, don't let them figure out that I'm here. Talking about yeah, they like the they like the battle. They're like, we haven't gotten the complete report. Uh, certain that the Labo phase is currently hosting Doctor Vegapunk, Sella, and six satellites. The four Seraphim protecting them, and the ten members of Emperor Straw Hat's crew, whom we have believed to be allied with them, as well as the agents in the lead force, Rob Gucci, Kaku, and Stussy from CP0. Fire and file and rank cipherpole agents have appeared to appear to have been locked up in the Fabrio phase by Sintamaru and his Mark III units. Ah fuck, you know it's a long arc when this shit gets pulled out with the diagrams and drawings. Dude, it's like the it's like the thing that people would do after every chapter of Wano, which was updating where every single character currently was, and it was just like insane. It's like, oh my gosh. It's, it's like you had the whole diet you had like a key for it. I was like, oh my gosh, dude. This one this one okay, but this one's more simple. You have Vegapunk, Satellite, Seraphim, Straw Hat, Cypher Pole, and a few others. It's it's manage it's manageable, Brandon. Is this fun? It's manageable. I'm having a blast. Um it, there's like nothing and then on the next page, can get out. In the next um, page, we see we're sorry. This page couldn't be displayed to reload it. Make sure you have Wi-Fi or cellular connection. I like this part of the story. That's my favorite line from One Piece, actually. It's really deep and metaphorical. If you, if you <laughs> I'm refreshing it. it, it won't load. Uh, okay, it's loading. I also say one last thing. The pirate jewelry Bonnie has been sighted on the island. Kuma's daughter. She has no more benefit to us. Leave her there. She's just a girl. Um, and then they say, we're picking up a signal coming from Egghead. Huh? Um, and so it's it's a call to Mary Joie, um, or Mary Joyce. I say Mary Joie. That's, that's, I don't know. I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce it. It was Mary Joie. And they're like, hello, is it York? Uh, hello, this is York. Hey, this is really messed up. Why are you killing me too when you only know about the Stella's betrayal because I told you? Uh, he goes, you two are also Vegapunk, York. If I had any interest in the Void Century, I wouldn't have told you about this. Like, she has a point. It's good that you survived. Did CP0 reach the island? What are the Straw Hats doing now? The fact that I'm the only one to contact you after last night should tell you everything. The Seraphim are here. Why is this fleet surrounding the island? Are you going to war with me? 
Uh, and then Ethan is like, York, we have changed our minds. Are you able Ethan? to create the Mother Flame too? Yeah, that, that's Ethan. I I know. I was just No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. That's that's Peter. I am so I am such a I'm wearing the fake fan pants. I'm wearing the fake fan pants right now. Hey, I said that's I know. Even that is, though that, I thought that, to myself, a, I thought to chef, myself I thought the bald one was him. And I I still said I know just the top one. So the bald one, top men Mercury. Which bald one? Uh the huge mustache. <laughs> Which which one with the huge mustache? Bald with a huge mustache, Kyle. That narrows it down. <laughs> <You're> joking. <laughs> you have Topman Mercury. You have Jay Garcia Saturn, who's on the boat. You have the Wano guy, which is Ethan Baron Venus Juro. Uh, then you have, um, uh, then you have uh, yeah. Saint Shepherd Jew Peter, who is the uh, the young guy. And then you have the guy with the huge beard and long hair. Uh, that's Marcus Mars. Which guy with a huge beard and long hair? <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it here. So yeah, yeah York um, goes. Oh, now you'll play along. Yes, I'm surprised you. I'm not surprised you want it. I'm glad I sent it to you. So so York sent them the Mother Flame, uh, right. which is the weapon destroyed the Lucia. Um, and they ask her, "Are you able to create the Mother Flame too?" Um, and then uh, they go, "Yes, it is desired." And she goes, "Desired by who?" Anyway, the power plant that creates it is on the island so promise you me you won't hurt the lab they go understood and make me a celestial dragon it will be done and you got a deal and the first thing i want you to do is wallahi <laughs> i finished I iconic crying face <laughs> of one piece save me five elders <laughs> but that makes more sense here yeah she goes come save me before straw hat luffy kills me and they're like huh and then kizaru goes what does this mean <laughs> and she goes come quick and clobber them all for me and then we get the pan. We get the dude. This is the first time we've seen Luffy in a long time. <laughs> it's been a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something I should have done. I'm scanning. I'm scanning for the only character that matters here. Hmm? Where's I'm looking, Robin? I'm, I'm looking for her too. Yeah, I realize. Where is where's she? Robin? Where is she? Oh, Oda. Robin. Oda. Robin. My, my Robin. Oda. 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 Where's, where's Robin? Robin? Where's the best Robin, female one love it. character that isn't Boa Hancock? There's, there's Frankie. There's Chopper. There's Brooke. There's York, there's Bonnie, there's Usopp. Raji gets to appear, but not Robin. There's Rob Gucci, there's there's Sanji L, the uh, right there's Rob. Luffy, there's Nami, there's Zolo, and there's Jimbe. Robin's dead, I guess. Wallahi, I'm finished. Come save me, Oda. Maybe Oda drew Bonnie and thought that he drew Robin and he didn't draw Robin. I doubt. Wait, what, what was she wearing? She was what wearing was something very similar to, to Bonnie. What was Bonnie wearing last time we saw her? Uh, that. No, that's Bonnie because she says it's like a damn hostage situation. Robin wouldn't say that. She'd say, oh, man, it's a hostage situation. If we give it up, we're going to get annihilated and murdered and just pull out some dark sense of humor. But Nami says, oh, I see how it all fits together. Luffy goes, I don't, but I'm guessing. We'll use her as a shield to escape. And Bonnie's like, it's like a damn hostage situation. And Big Punk is like, so that's what was going on. And we get to see everyone. The crew's all here. And York is hot. Not everyone is here. Dude, everyone's here. You have the Romance Don Trio up front like they deserve to be. You have Sanji in the back like he deserves to be. That's crazy, uh, crazy how that works. He's yeah. Who's up? Who? Usopp. Who? Soga King. Oh, I love Soga King, bro. I'm a huge fan of Soga King. Anyway, yeah, this is a really good chapter. That's an I, I was, I was more hyped for this one than the other one, honestly. Yeah, like, I definitely that, was. Because you know, I like Garp and I like all the stuff with Garp and so it's interesting, right? I'm glad that like we get Garp, to see like it. Like Kobe, but oh my god. We're back on that head. We're back on that head. We're back on that head. Finally Ekhead. see the characters. And wouldn't it be really funny if you went on like another four month break from the Straw Hats after this? Oh my gosh, I would cry. <laughs> I would drop one piece for a hot minute. I would cry unless it was stuff with Im Sama. That's true. Unless that, yes. But yeah, no. Uh, 1089, it's a really good chapter. And so, Kyle, so here's the question, right? Yeah, let's hear it. Going forward, next chapter, do you think we get the flashback to the fight that they had to bring York down? 
or do you think we go straight into the egghead incident? I mean, honestly, I can't say it doesn't matter, right? Because like, I don't want it to be, I, I don't want it to be one of those where it's like, oh well, uh, any character can survive anything. You don't need to show us how. Like, I feel like at some point we'll see it. That, or maybe it's maybe it doesn't take as long as we think. Maybe it's like because they they have control of the seraphims again, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, so maybe. like maybe it's just like they get control of the seraphims and it's like, hey, turn him back to normal. Hey, stop fighting. Like that is that's all that it would really need to be. I think so. Like, hmm? I was gonna say like, that's all it would really need to be. Like, if if anything, I could see that fitting in like a chapter, which I would kind of want it to be because I feel like anything longer, unless there was like more fighting he wanted to show, would be a little it'd still be weird though. Because I, I I just want it to be where it's like a quick wrap up of like they get control of the seraphims they stop them temporarily and then they get to where they are now actually mm, no okay maybe like a full chapter or two would be needed to like get york into that position yeah yeah probably the thing of, i can't exactly remember the position they were in the last time we saw them yeah um that's a that is i don't want to sift through the chapters right now but yeah that's it's been a hot minute yeah. so i feel like it's two also chapters but it's like I mean, no one there is really going to challenge them because they're an Emperor's crew. I mean, you know. Yeah. The only people who were struggling were, like, like Frankie was, like, half petrified, and then, like, Usopp and... Sanji was like, petrified, was but Sanji is Sanji, so... Yeah, it's, it's, who cares? Who cares? He he fell off after Thriller Bark. I'll say it! Sanji fell off, f fell, fell off after Thriller Bark. He did. That's that's another that's another discussion for that, that time. Yeah, discussion. there's 1089. Good, good, chapter. Chapter. good chapter. Yeah. Well, if you're this part of the video, obviously there's something like, so make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling us what your favorite part of the chapter was. Maybe 1088. If you like something in 1088 more than 1089, let us know. Uh, thank you all for watching. We hope you all enjoyed this video. See you all in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.